going on everybody today i am here with a very very interesting and hard challenge it is going to be the accepting every rule challenge here in nba 2k17 so if you guys want to see more challenges stuff like this let me know in the comments below leave a like on a comment you see so i know to do that challenge next whatever pretty much comment has the most likes i'm gonna do that challenge let's see if this video can get over 700 likes for the next challenge video and in this one, I am doing it with the 76ers. So it goes as the title states. It's pretty much in the offseason when they have the week meetings and all the rules are there. I have to approve every single rule and still win a championship in three years. So we are doing this with the Philadelphia 76ers. Do I want to make any moves? I might make a couple of trades here in season number one. Like trade maybe Joel Embiid or New Orleans Noel. And maybe like a Jared Bayless and a Sergio Rodriguez. So I don't know what I'm going to get for actually... Uh, for and beating the wall. I've never really tried it for these two. Can I get a nice guard? Because I'm going to try to probably sign Chris Paul in the offseason. Dennis Schroeder, Rudy Gay. Uh, I'm getting really nothing nice. The Mavericks first round pick in Harrison Barnes. That's interesting. But I don't want to do that. Okay, you know, I'm going to make trades off camera. I'll see you guys at the end of the season. I'll show you guys it in the transactions. And then we'll get into these uh, week improvement meetings. Ben Simmons does get rookie of the year. Averaging 10 points, 8 Rebounds and five assists. Hopefully, he's going to like double that in every stat by the end of this video. Obviously, he's going to be an all NBA first team. I don't think Julio Okafor made an all NBA team. So, Ben Simmons was our lone person making an award. I did make a couple trades that I want to show you guys. A lot of big ones. So, I traded. Oh, uh, they're going to be okay. All the way down here. So, I traded the first one with Jared Bayless, New Orleans the Well, and a second round pick for Chris Middleton and Matthew Della Dova. I ended up trading Matthew Della Dova and Joel Embiid and three first round picks for Derek Favors and George Hill. So those were the two big moves I made. We can now uh, check out the standings where we actually made the playoffs as the 17, winning 38 games. That's the Eastern Conference for you, baby. So let's go. And Javiel Okafor, 19 points and 8 rebounds. He was a stud. Chris Middleton averaged 16, and he's only making 12 million a year. Favors was nice as well. Is he making 12 million this year? Yes, he is. So I have him and Middleton on nice contracts. Covington did well as well as Ben Simmons. I'm mainly looking for a point guard or a shooting guard in free agency, something like that. So, yeah, this was the lineup of the playoffs. We're going to have George Shell, Chris Middleton, Ben Simmons, Derek Favors, Jewel Okafor, Covington, Sarich, uh, yeah, Sarich, I think it's Sarich or Sarich, and Sergio Rodriguez and Gerald Henderson off the bench. TJ McConnell, you're not going to get any minutes because the backup point guard is already Sergio Rodriguez. So we're just going to give more minutes to Chris Middleton and George Hill. Why not? Uh, so let's get into this first round. We're taking on the two-seated Raptors with DeRozan and Lowry. I doubt we're going to get past them, but you never know. Maybe we can get upset, but no, we get swept. All right, so let's just see who wins it all. It is going to be a... Oh, the Magic upset the Cavs, and it's a Celtic Warrior Finals, and the Warriors sweep them, and Stephen Curry is your Finals MVP. Guys, here we are at the league meeting, so I have to accept every rule cha uh, challenge here. So this one is going to be have the trade deadline occur one week sooner so that one's not that bad but we are approving that next one is in the draft lottery team ordering will be based on the standings i actually like this one better than doing a lottery so if you have the worst record you're guaranteed the first pick and you're not going to be entering the lottery so we're accepting that this one draft lottery the top 13 picks are done through the lottery remaining picks are determined by team record Wait, no, we're going to reject that one so we get the first one because that's just going to counteract it. So team ordering will be based on... Okay, so yeah, we're going to be doing that. Eliminate five second backs in basket. That's... Okay, we're just going to prove that. Opposing teams will enter the bonus after 16 battles in an overtime period. So those are the ones. The big one is pretty much the lottery one. And that's going to take effect right here. So wait, I wonder how this is going to go. So is there even going to be a lottery anymore? The Lakers get the number one pick. The Celtics get the number two. Did they have the worst record, the Lakers? Uh, and the Celtics have the second worst, or the Nets have the second worst. I don't even know. So maybe it's going to take into effect next year. So let's go here to the NBA Draft Simulate here and see if I want to make any moves or sign anybody. But I don't think I want to trade anybody just yet. And we have the 15th overall pick. So, you know, I'm going to make my draft pick now, and I'll see you guys at rookie signings, and we'll get ready for the team player options and all that. These times we get everybody's favorite player, Reggie Cummings, 74 overall, 6'8" small forward and he's a beast so i always like taking him in the mid late first round so we're obviously bringing back okafor covington henderson no mcconnell i'll bring back holmes i'll bring back just for roster spots so we're going to be entering here in the free agency where i'm going to be going after a point guard most likely qualifying offers we got it on my free agents george hill you know what we have 42 million to spend i would sign you as a backup point guard if you really wanted to come back but let's go to free agency here we're crisp Steph Curry is here. We need Steph Curry. Come on. 
if Steph Curry came to the 76ers? And where's the number one deal? Okay, but a backup plan would be a Chris Paul who's asking for a crap ton of money. And then a third option would be a Kyle Lowry. So, let's just hope we can get Steph Curry. Where's the number one deal? Please, the Warriors even offer him anything. After day one, we get him, baby. Welcome, Steph Curry, to the Philadelphia 76ers. Let's freaking go. All right, so let's get Hollis Thompson and Nick Stout. And I'm not getting Nick Stauskas back. But George Hill accepted another offer. He's going to the Rockets. I am fine with that. And yeah, so we're going to sign a house stop. So I'll see you guys at the start of season number two. Guys, so we are sending Chris Middleton and two first round picks over to the Trailblazers for CJ McCollum. So the only thing that's going to be different, I think, this year in the simulation is that the trade deadline is a week sooner. It's now February 12th instead of it would probably be the 19th. So we're going to see how that affects us. I don't think I'm going to make any trades near the deadline. So that's not a huge thing for us. So this is the lineup. Uh, we're going to see how we can do. Maybe we can get a top three seed and I'll see you guys at the end of season number two. So LeBron James is your MVP at the end of season number two. Jason Tatum is your rookie of the year and your sixth man of the year. That's pretty impressive. Carl Anthony Towns, defense player of the year and most improved players. So two players won two awards that you don't usually see. And we get coach of the year, baby, Brett Brown. Let's go. Stephen Curry, all NBA first team, 25 points a game and eight assists. And then you got all NBA second team. We got nobody. Okay. Uh, but then you got all rookie second team, Reggie Cummings, everyone's favorite player. So we do get a one seed that kind of blew up my expectations. I thought we were going to get like a two or a three seed, but we do top the Cavs and 2K's beloved Bulls. But yeah, so that is the Bulls team 80 or yeah, like they're nothing special. The Cavs, they got LeBron. So we got to worry about that. The Knicks are 41 and 41. No more Derrick Rose, it looks like. Okay. So let's check out the stats. Uh, McCollum, 16 points a game. Same with Okafor. Simmons almost averaged a double double, was 0.1 points away from a double double. And then Stephen Curry was just our leading scorer. Derek Favors, nine points a game. I kind of wanted to trade him. I probably should have because I don't know if I'm going to be bringing him back. Maybe in a sign and trade. So let's get into these playoffs. We did win 61 games. That was almost 30 more than the eight seeded Wizards. So we should be able to sweep them. And we do sweep them. Okay, so we're taking on the Nets in the second round who just swept the Knicks. That was actually an interesting match. I battled the New York in the playoffs. So, we're going to see my right past the Nets. Come on. Okay, we win in five. Let's go. Now, taking on LeBron James' Cavs is going to be interesting. And we two lose in four. So, it's the eight-seeded Rockets. Okay. And they make it a seven-game series. And the Cavs do win. So, we're going to be going here to the league meetings. But that was actually pretty impressive by the Rockets to do that. So let's go here to the league meetings where we got more to do. So this one, it's going to be players will not be eligible for the NBA draft unless they are three years removed from high school or an international player 21 years or older. That's weird. I feel like they would that would say college, but high school, okay. But a lot of people actually want to do that. Change the shot clock to 30 seconds. Okay, so this is going to be a lot, I think, less scoring in the NBA. And then change the time the offense is given to advance the ball to 12 seconds. Okay, we're going to accept that. Uh, 13 players from each conference will be named to the all-star team. I don't know if it's what it is originally. I think it's 12 maybe. Change the number of fouls required for a player to foul, which is 5. So we're going to have a lot more foul outs and a lot less scoring next year. So that's going to be a huge thing. I know that happened to me in one of my rebuilds in the beginning of 2K17. And I was like, why is the scoring so low for everybody? It's because the shot clock was increased. So here, I don't think I'm going to look to trade McCollum, and we did have the Lakers pick, and they got the number two pick. So maybe I could package the second pick and McCollum for maybe a star shooting guard. We're going to see. Guys, we're going to see if this second overall pick at CJ McCollum, and I can upgrade to DeMar DeRozan. And they agreed to that. Let's go. Okay, that was expected. So now, going into here in free agency, we got to, we're obviously bringing back Okafor and Simmons. Sarge, we're bringing back. We just got to re-sign Derek Favors down there. So we don't have any picks, so let's go to team player options and see we got to bring back. So we're going to be bringing back everybody on this list. So, uh, we're going to have, I don't think, any money to spend. Actually, no, I doubt we're going to have any money to spend in free agency. 18 mil isn't bad, but actually, maybe I could snag somebody for 18 mil. But Derek Favors isn't a, oh, damn it. He's not a restricted free agent. I was kind of hoping he was, but he's not going to be. So, let's see. Mello, we're a contender. Not, I guess, to you. Uh, where's Derek Favors at? So, for Derek Favors, we're going to be giving him 26 mil. Uh, or what's the max I'll let me give him? 26 mil and a player option. So let's see. Will anybody here want 18 mil? I can get like a Thad Young. I could always trade him. I can get a Joel Embiid. No, I cannot. Enos Canner. They'd probably match it. Okay. Brooke Lopez would be interesting. I wouldn't mind him on the team. Uh, to trade. Point guards are bad and I can't really afford any of them. 
Uh, Gary Harris wants 20 mil. Levine wants 20 mil. Tony Allen wants the minimum. Okay, I will definitely give you that. Will Williams also wants the million. I will definitely do that. Uh, Melo wants still 30 mil. TJ Warren. Okay, that's an interesting guy to get. Uh, but that's about it. Okay, so, ooh, Julius Randle. Ah, uh, he wants maybe too much. Let's see. Come on, you're coming to play with Steph Curry, Ben Simmons, and Okafor, and DeRozan. So, after day one, okay, everybody's still mulling. So, after day two, we get Brooke Lopez. Okay, I think he's the guy we're going to be signing. And then, hopefully, we snag Derek Favors. So, let's get Brooke Lopez here. Uh, there, there is Derek Favors. We also can get Lou Williams as well. So, we're going to do that. Julius Randle goes to the Lakers. And we can get Covington and Jeremy Grant back. Any other, um, okay, Tony Allen, I don't think we were able to get, but yeah, that's gonna be for me now. I'll see you guys at the start of season number three if I'm gonna make any trades, but if not, I might just, or yeah, if not, I might just see you guys at the end of season number three. But anyways, I want to do this trade. I don't need another small forward. I don't really want to play Wiggins or Simmons at power forward either. So we're going to be doing this trade for Chris Bosh. I, I don't usually get Chris Bosh a lot, and this is the last year anyway, so I think I'm just going to be doing this trade because I usually always have Derek Favors. Or not always, but like I get him a lot. So let's see the lineup. It is Curry, DeRozan, Simmons, Bosh, Okafor, Sarge, Lopez, Cummings, Covington, and Jeremy Grant off the bench. This team is absolutely stacked. I'll see you guys at the end of the year. We're going to see what the rule changes how and how they will affect this season. There you go, baby. Stephen Curry wins MVP, and with that new shot clock, we're in a scoring age where, yeah, 19 points a game is going to get you finals mvp i just said finals mvp what am i saying i'm already trying to predict the future no but for mvp dario sarge actually gets six minute of the year that's pretty cool but i wonder who the league score was in the nba curry all nba first team uh anybody else no no 76ers i think unless i'm dumb and i pass one which i probably that's a good or a high chance of that happening so league leaders kevin durant was the league leader with 24 points there was only five 20 point scores so you can see the shot clock did play in effect it wasn't as bad as it was in one of my rebuilds i think because the shot clock was at like 35 or 40 seconds but this is still a notable difference uh we can check out our stats curry yeah we had an 18 point score or 19 point score 11 and then 10 and then everybody else was kind of down here like bosh only six points a game just because of the rule change i guess so conference best team in the nba by at least 13 games baby so let's go into the playoffs let's see if we can go Back to the Eastern Conference Finals. Round one against the Celtics. We win it in six. Taking on the Hawks in round two. Let's just simulate the round. Screw it. And we win in five. Now, taking on LeBron James' Cavs. We need revenge right now. Come on. Let's win it here. Come on. Let's go, baby. We sweep them. And then let's see if we get beat the Spurs in the NBA Finals. No, we lose in six. Oh, man. Such a nice playoff run, but we lose in six to Kawhi Leonard. 13 points is your finals MVP. But yeah, that is going to be for me. I hope you guys enjoyed the every rule or accepting every rule challenge. It's kind of like the accepting every trade challenge, but like rules and trades, obviously. So yeah, that's going to be for me. Like I said, let me know in the comments what other challenges we could do. We will give on this video if you enjoyed it. Let's see if there's going to be over 700 likes for another challenge build. And yeah, that's going to be for me. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Love you guys. Peace.